Hey guys, this is Akanksha and this is my YouTube channel All About English. Today is the 13th of April 2018 and we are going to do the most important editorial of today's. Okay, the editorial is National Health Protection Scheme. This scheme has been launched by uh, our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, and it is also called Ayushman Bharat for a Healthier India. This scheme is called National Health Protection Scheme. It's called Ayushman Bharat for a Healthier India, and it's also called Modi Care. Now, the basic points associated with this scheme are, it will provide rupees 5 lakh coverage per family, Per year means up to rupees 5 lakh coverage for health will be provided with this scheme for per family per year okay and this scheme aims to cover around a uh, half a billion people means about 50 crore people or the uh, unprivileged people in India will be covered under this scheme now the point is uh, basically they want to provide this health service to the unprivileged section of the society now it will be up to them how are they going to decide what and how they will be categorizing people as to the unprivileged or the people below poverty line or the people who are left out or the depressed and the oppressed section of the society or uh, the people who are uh, like poor that uh, decision will be completely upon uh, which report is the government going to follow. Now, this scheme basically uh, has one thought into it. If we all uh, might have heard about that thought when, once we were small, that prevention is better than cure. So basically, the government wants that the people in our country, now they should, uh, once they reach the age of 30 or 35, then 35, then they must have access to basic amenities or for health as well with other things so that they must know how is their body functioning, if there is some flaw, if they are um, like uh, developing some disease, then at the very beginning, those diseases should be cured. So that is the basic point this scheme focuses. And that is why we say that this scheme covers all the three sections of health, like primary sector, secondary, and the tertiary. Means healthcare services associated with all the three uh, three uh, three stages of a disease or three stages of a body are uh, being covered under this scheme now how is the government going to implement this scheme first of all you must know that this scheme will be implemented through the help of various um, health and wellness centers or we can say health and wellness centers that will be opened all across the length and breadth of india now uh, how many health and welfare how many health and wellness centers they will be around 1.5 lakh in numbers matlab kareeb 1 lakh health and welfare centers health and wellness centers kholenge and that uh, those centers will be opened by 2022 the same year uh, till we want to achieve that aim of um, housing for all 2022 now once one more point important for this scheme is that we will be having both public as well as private healthcare centers uh, being a part of this scheme that is a patient can seek um, uh, seek consultation seek uh, medicines from a government from a government hospital as well as from some primary healthcare clinics but the only fact is that the doctors who run their own businesses they have to frame proper packages for certain diseases and they are not allowed to charge unreasonable and irrational amount for any kind of disease that uh, that, that a person is suffering with this is only going to you know give a proper a uh, balanced approach towards what a disease is and how um, is the government going to ensure the people against those diseases that is one very important point that primary and suppose and one more thing right Right now in India, we basically uh, give in, give protection to uh, the diseases that are associated with child and mother, and we also have uh, been focusing on uh, vaccination of children, and uh, also with one more class that is the communicable diseases we have vaccines for diseases we have been uh, developed we have uh, medicines for disease like malaria for typhoid dysentery bacteria and virus bond diseases but what about the non-communicable diseases what about if a person um, is suffering with diabetes but he has not got his ch got it checked suppose a person has hypertension is hypertension is hypertension sensitive then how is he going to uh, you know if he's not going to get his body checked then how is he going to get to know that thing then if a person has some basic 
uh, basic diseases or you know diseases with the lungs or kidneys now those things need to be uh, given proper treatment and if they are cured before time and cured in time then only it would lead to giving us a society which has healthy people and once we have a healthy society when all the primary secondary and tertiary healthcare services are provided to the people and at reasonable rates of it and also being insured by the government then only we'll have a good and a healthy economy and when the people in the economy are strong they are they are like um, a healthy then that ultimately will lead to the to the to the to the development of our country to the growth of our emerging economy emerging economy is india so that is where this scheme focuses basically and one more point that the fund that is allocated for this scheme is around 2000 crore rupees which um, as to some scholars they say it's uh, sufficient but some when you 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 would take out the overall money that will be uh, that that will be like uh, allocated to just per person per head comes out to only rupees 40 per person that is uh, which is something really less so you cannot call it it is a full fledged scheme which uh, is going to cover every section of the society but yes it's a start and yes uh if uh, the government has taken up a step it has only uh, taken up uh, after proper thinking and proper analysis and one more thing is uh, some people say that this scheme is nothing new but it's just like uh, old wine being served in a new bottle because uh, they say that these kind of schemes have already been uh, running in various states they've been launched by the state governments under the health and protection schemes and this this is just an overlapping of uh, the ideas and the ideology therefore there's nothing new and there's no point in uh, you know spending money on the same thing again and again rather than uh, expanding the existing schemes and uh, making them function on a on a larger scale now uh, one more thing is that um, we all the some sometimes we heard that this is one of the uh, biggest scheme launched by any government till date see like us if you consider us then us has a universal health care health protection scheme for all its citizens but that scheme largely excludes a big section of the community in us because it only ex- includes people who are literally uh, literally in need of such schemes and a big portion of people are not taking or reaping benefits out of those schemes and also uk has certain schemes but you know the system that they follow and the kind of system we have it's it's it is um, it's miles apart because we in india it becomes difficult for us to execute decisions or to take in initiatives because we have a big population and the system in india is huge and it has to pass through various stages till it reaches the public so might be this is difficult for the for the people to get uh, the uh, this to get uh, to get themselves cured and then how is it possible that the benefits are going to reach them that is the biggest question that is associated well this is one aspect but the other aspect is that once the scheme is launched and if it benefits the people it is only going to help our country in some way or the other and one more thing is one more thing very important is this is national health protection scheme okay we are concerned about the health and that's excellent but what about those people the healthy class of people who you think need uh, need to stay healthy throughout their life and they do not and they should not get trapped into some into any of the diseases so you have to actually work upon the basic system of the of the country you have to ensure that we have access to pure water clean air uh, a, a clean um clean um, environment a pollution free environment our, our belonging should be clean how are we going to you know they um, provide uh, how are we going to actually prevent people from getting uh, getting a target to those diseases so that is the point now if these kind of answers uh, are given by the government and if people understand then i think that this scheme is going to um, it's going to prove uh, some of the most uh, successful schemes launched till date so this was all for this scheme Uh, thanks a lot for watching the video and i ho- hope you all would uh, definitely like it and if you like it don't forget to like it and subscribe my channel this is akanksha gupta signing off